nice hair, huh? <laughs> it's been a really an emotional week for, for me and my family. My wife lost her, her mother and her best friend last week, last Thursday. And I want to thank her for being here with me tonight. Merci beaucoup, Nelly, pour être ici. Je t'adore. Merci énormément. C'est grand match aussi. You know, a reporter from Montreal asked me um, this week, he said, Eric, how do you feel after you had eight year career in the CFL and you're being inducted as a college player? <laughs> and I told him, I said, I'm not as athletic as Mills Steagle and I'm not as good looking as Damon Allen, but man, my face is gonna be beside them forever. And that <laughs> feels great. <laughs> Good, Damon. Looking good. You know, my, my eight years as a pro was really just about football, but my four years at Manalson made me a better person. I was, uh, I decided to go to Manalson in 1995, the year of the referendum in, in Quebec, when Quebec thought they could separate from the rest of the country. And as a Francophone, and let me tell you, I couldn't say a word in, in English. I decided to leave the province that year to go to an English school. I was raised up north of uh, Quebec in saint lac saint jean Nobody heard about it, but it's really, really just francophone. I never heard of a word of English in my life. And from my, my first memory about hearing about outside Quebec is my dad reading the newspaper and there was a French teacher that, was, that went to Ottawa to teach. And my dad was telling me that French teacher got eggs thrown toward, toward her house just because it was francophone. I said, man, anglophone don't like us. And you know, you're a kid, you say, I'm a francophone and maybe they don't like me. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I like them. <laughs> but in 90, 1995, I decided to go to Mount Aid. I couldn't say a word in English. Just to let you know, my first day at school, I had to register, I had to bring somebody with me because I didn't understand anything. And I'm sitting there and they asked me for my name. Obviously I knew Eric, but they asked me for my middle name. And <laughs> In Quebec, we don't have a middle name. Uh, I didn't know what the middle name was. I said, Rick? <laughs> I didn't know that was my nickname. I, uh, they put it on my ID card, Eric, Rick Lapointe. <laughs> I had that thing on my ID card for four years and I had to tell them to remove that before they gave me my degree. <laughs> but honestly, when you go somewhere and you're afraid, and I was afraid because obviously you don't speak the language and you don't know how people would Will accept, it, will accept you or not, and people in Sackville and people in New Brunswick were fantastic. And when I said before that it made me a better person is, I was afraid of something I didn't know. I was afraid to leave my comfort at home. I was afraid to leave my friends, and I was afraid to go somewhere where I thought I was not like, and, and it was completely the opposite. People in Sackville made me welcome. They, were, they welcomed me right away. They were a family to, to, to me. My, my teacher actually spent extra time to <laughs> make sure that I could understand something. And four, year, four years later, I was bilingual. I mean, I learned that we live in a fantastic country. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> we are a mix of everything, but to be honest, we all look the same. Most of my friends now are outside of Quebec and I wish, I wish every kid had the chance to see what's outside, to conquer, to conquer their fear. Because it seems so easy to stay where you're comfortable, but when you actually see what's going on in real life, I mean, the world is fantastic. And if you just give everybody a chance, what, the world would be just a lot better. And when I said I became a better person, I have to thank Manalson for that. Um, I won't speak that long, but I have to thank people from Winnipeg. To be honest with you, it's been fantastic the past couple of days and the eight years I played in the CFL, the best place to play was always in Winnipeg. And I played for Montreal for six years. When you play for another team, the best thing you want to hear is somebody swearing at you in the stands. Because if they do, that means that you're somebody. It happened to me once, actually. 
<laughs> my first game in the CFL. That was bad. <laughs> Probably happened to you a lot, Damon. Huh? <laughs> I want to thank the sponsors. I want to thank the Manitoba Lotteries for, for organizing everything. It's been unbelievable. The city of Winnipeg, obviously, and the Blue Bombers. Uh, I want to thank my parents. Um, just to say something about my dad, I know my dad never said anything bad about my performance and had some horrible games in my life, but at the same time, he never said anything good. He was just there. He was following me. He was not commanding on my, command, making any comments on my game, but he was just there, and that made such a great feeling to me too. Every time I was going somewhere to play, he was just there watching me, and that made me a better player for sure. Uh, I want to thank the people of Sackville, obviously Mount Allison University, um, my coach and mentor, Gordon Grace, who coached me in my last two years co of college that's here tonight. Uh, the Montreal Alouette organization, obviously, I spent six years playing for the Alouettes and it's been unbelievable. Uh, the late Ron Lancaster that gave that white, stiff Canadian his first chance in the CFL. Thank you, Ron. I have to thank Don Matthews for taking an older, white and stiffer Canadian under his wing for, for about, yeah, for five years, five years. Thanks, Don. After cutting me from Edmonton my first year. I have to thank my training partner, my business partner, my best friend, Sebastian Watt, that's here tonight. He actually played for the Bombers. A good cheer for Sebastian. Thanks a lot, Seb. <laughs> and last but not least, she's a great mother, a great spouse, my wife, Nelly. Merci beaucoup, Nelly. Je t'aime, je t'aime, je t'aime. Thank you all. Have a great evening. Thank you very much. <laughs>